Well, we we got off to a very slow start. <clears throat> they were charged up, you know, tough game last night. Crowd was into it. Um, and uh, it couldn't have been much worse of a start, but we uh, kept our poise, kept playing. Second team, second unit came in and gave us a big lift. Um, TJ McConnell, you know, was plus 21 in 18 minutes, and he was obviously a major influence on the game. Uh, but our, our our whole bench did a did a great job, and you know, down the stretch, Tyrese closed the game. The same game in a row where that second unit's been integral and in kind of turning things around and getting things going. What kind of stands out about how they're able to do that, or what about that makes them so good at that for you guys so far? Well. It's a group that plays with good energy. Um, you know, they're, they they saw the task. The task was to to bring more force and posture to the game. Uh, we needed to get some stops and get some tempo going. I mean, you know, Karras just you know was was getting anything he wanted to start the game, and he's one of he's one of these guys that can go for fifty. You know, so and we talked about that, but. You know, this is one of those situations for them where, you know, he needed a big night, Struz needed a big night, and, and so did Mobley. And those guys were a beast, all, all three of them. So um, it was going to be a tough game regardless of who what was or wasn't playing. Um, but, you know, once again, you know, Jalen Smith really was terrific. I mean, Neesmith, you know, was – had, he scored, he made threes, he drove it, but he also had two or three real key offensive rebounds for us. He's really becoming a better crasher. And, um, you know, Nimhard defensively is a guy that really helps us. And, uh, you know, coming off of the medical thing a couple weeks ago, you know, he's really just starting to get some rhythm. And so, uh, but he was great. And, you know, you know Tyrese was amazing. You know, in the, in the fourth quarter, I mean, and then twenty-one and thirteen makes it look easy. So, you had, uh, go ahead, go ahead, sure. you had Neesmith on Lebert early to kind of stop him a little bit, and then he had a career high in scoring as well. What do you think he did so well to click today? And can you see that offensive growth already for him uh, early in the season? Yeah, look, at, this is a reason that we wanted to sign him and have him be one of our long-term pieces. Um, his development both offensively and defensively, is on the come. He's getting better all the time. And I've mentioned it quite a few times, you know, um, Lloyd has done a great job helping him understand our style of play. It's much different than Boston's and much different than when he played in college. And so, you know, he really is has found a niche and he's found a flow. Um, he knows how to pick spots, you know, um, in our in our random game. And uh, you know, defensively, it gives it gives us a big body to put on any one of four positions on the floor, and yeah, you know, he could even play f five defensively with his strength. You mentioned TJ. I guess did, was he originally part of the plan for the rotation, or was that something that he came in because you guys needed defensive presence? You know, I, I, I this morning I talked to the t staff about hey, let's all keep our eyes open, and you know, if there's if there's a point of the game where where TJ's you know the right guy. Um, you know we got to pull the trigger decisively, and like it was, it was pretty clear in the first quarter that um, that we needed him. You know, and what he brings, and uh, you know he was tw plus twenty four at halftime. You know, playing eleven minutes or something like that, or ten. And um, <clears throat> guy's a terrific player, and you know our rotation is by no means set. You know, you, you come into the season. You have an idea of, you know, what might work, you know, to keep guys in rhythm and and keep them into the game. But sometimes it's just not that simple. Sometimes you just need your best competitors ready to go, like right now. And and he was, and you know, he was he was a major difference in the game. You mentioned Cruz's defense. Obviously, he walks right in and goes right on Karras. I mean, what did you, you know, obviously who Andrew? Yeah. Hitler. Just, what did you like? Some, you mentioned his defense, how important it was. And just tell me just a little bit more about what impression about what he did, particularly on Karras. Obviously, everybody has to step up their game to guard a guy like that. Yeah. Like that, so. you know, Drew just has a, a real good understanding of our system. He um, His footwork is is very good. 
He's unafraid. He's one of our guys that takes a lot of charges. Um, and he loves these challenges. And then, you know, we had we had TJ Garden Levert for a while, um, I think at the end of the first half, because, you know, I was, I was just concerned that, you know, we were going to wear Andrew out, you know. Um, that's a hard job guarding, you know, that caliber of scorer um, who has – it's not a green light, it's a blue light. It's like, you know, it's like neon blue, which means, you know, you shoot any shot you want because we need you to score, you know? And um, it takes a lot out of you. To that point, I guess that seems like be the strength of this second unit in general is you have all of those options that can be able to be card a guy like that. Could be Drew, could be TJ, could be Aaron, you could throw Bruce in with that group and just... How much does that just add options for you when you can put a group like that that's got that many defenders who can take on a bunch of positions probably going to be bunch of great players? Well, you know, I've, I've been saying this and for quite a while. We have a roster that's really 15 deep, you know. You know, Jarris and, and, and Shepard, those guys are ready to play. They're, they've been great in practice, you know. Tice just won the World Cup, you know. Wara is, you know, a walking bucket. Um, I mean, you, you name it. I mean, all, all these guys are ready. Isaiah, Isaiah Jackson, you know, has, has done a lot of great things over the first two years, two plus years. So, <clears throat> hey, everybody's got to, you know, keep themselves ready to go. I mean, there was, there was a moment in the first half where Tice was a real consideration against Mobley um, because, you know, Mobley doesn't look overtly strong but he has wiry strength and and you know sometimes you need a bigger body on him so didn't do it but it was you know something that was in the <clears throat> wheelhouse of discussion you mentioned ty a few times how good he was i mean he's obviously struggled a little bit early but a, a, an incredible close obviously what just kind of got him going and kind of keep it together and then turn it on like he did at the end well he, he just read the situations in the fourth quarter we were able to get him matched on some guys he could attack and um you know he made three threes in a row and layup you know so that's you know it's 11 points and i don't know about a minute and a half and that's you know that that makes a difference i think the one thing that you know we have to acknowledge is that you know um starts to games was something that was a was an issue for us last year and the first two games you know we've we've had struggles and so it's that's got to be a point of emphasis you know um you know the, the guys that are starting the game, regardless of who it is, uh, we we've got to we've got to put a collective will um, into that. It's it's just too important. How you start games, you know, oftentimes goes a, a very long way with how you finish. And we were fortunate tonight that these guys were missing some of their stars and stuff like that. And I thought they played a, a hell of a game. You know that said, but you know the start of the the start of the first. Quarter the start of the third quarter tonight. You know um, we need to be better. We need to be better. So, you know that group is still relatively new, <clears throat> but um, you know I, I know I know we can do better with that. And we just we've we've got to we've got to put put our energy into that. I apologize if you've been asked this already this season, but with Hal Burton, um, and I know he's an All Star already. But have you noticed any difference in him coming back? from the Team USA experience? Like, is there anything that he's doing better or differently? And, and you might point to that experience as a reason why. Um, that's a good question. I just I just believe that in talking to Tyrese and, you know, watching him lead the team in off-court situations, locker room, et cetera, et cetera, he's just very, he's very keyed in on little things that help you win, and uh, it's it's a natural growth pro progression for you know a, a, a young uh, all star point guard. Um, but his, his his the depth of his vision of the game is is very unique. It's very special, and um, and he really sees the things that are important to winning and. Uh, you know, and when you got your best player tuned into that, that's that's a that's a really that's a really powerful thing. To that end, it looked like 
to close the game, and first it was getting into the half court offense, and Tyrese or or you or somebody read, hey, we got to speed it up again, and that's where he kind of took over. Was that was that the plan, and that's what happened out there? Is Tyrese reading that moment? Yeah, it was. It was mostly it was mostly him, and you know you get to the fourth quarter on the road. Um, there's a there's sort of a global belief that the game the NBA game naturally slows down, and I believe in those situations it's actually important to keep playing fast, particularly our team. So we've got to we've got to strike that balance. But Tyrese, you know, it was it was pitch perfect tonight. Um, you know, he he just he he found the creases, he found the advantages, and um, he finished he finished the game off. And you talk a lot about your lineup and roster fluidity. That closing group was that about defense? Was that about continuity from last year? What what influenced the, that closing group? They were playing well. You know, that was a group that seemed to have the best defensive presence, um, best handle on what was needed in the game. Um, and we had a lot of playmaking out there, you know, with Tyrese, Andrew, and Bruce Brown is is a playmaker too. And, you know, Aaron had a game going, and he's he's one of our really good individual defenders, and he's rebounding well. Um, and I thought Miles, you know, really, really made some great defensive plays at the rim to make them miss and come up with rebounds. So... Look, there were some frustrating aspects to this game for sure. Um, in the first half, it, you know, like everybody was trying to get their get get going, get their rhythm, um, you know. But but sometimes sometimes you just gotta you know really just concentrate on the little things and just being a total 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 team. That's how we gotta play. I was I needed some external motivation to get myself going, <laughs> and he. I won't say verbatim what he said, but he told me to basically stop whining. Oh my God. And then I was just like, I'm like, I'm a grown man. Like, you're just gonna talk to me how you want to. And then I was like, you're a grown man too. And you ask questions in your job. So don't tell me how to like do my job. Then every three from there was just, <laughs> needed to talk to him to get myself going, yeah. Did, did the silencer get you pumped? Yeah, I just needed to see some shots go in because the first half was rough, but um, just a good overall team win. That fourth quarter was not you guys' typical speed of play. It was like really half court based. How did you get out of that funk and what did it take to kind of overcome that and still get the Yeah, I thought um, they kind of dictated the pace tonight. It was kind of like a pounded inside game. A lot of, you know, run a lot of chin sets and just throwing it to Evan in the post and kind of letting him work down there. And um, so we kind of let them dictate the pace tonight, which is. Something we don't want to do, but when you get in a hole by 15, 20, it's hard to, like, usually that team is dictating the pace. So we just had to figure it out, and, um, you know, any win is a good win. Just what did, I guess you had to figure it out personally, what kind of slowed things down for you early, and then what, you know, obviously that helps you get out of it, but what, what all, what's kind of the progress of you, of you personally just getting back into your game? Just, uh, I don't know, man. I, I mean, I got to figure that out, but just texting back and forth with Drew and a little bit, and just like going through these phases in games right now where it's like, it's like I'm coasting a little bit, like I'm not trying to, and I'm not. I don't feel like that in the moment. But when I watch, I'm like, I gotta get myself going. Like last game, I was like five and a half times. Today, I had two and a half times. Like I gotta be better for us to win games. And uh, luckily, my team, you know, or not luckily, but thankfully, our team, you know, brought us back. That second unit brought us back. But I gotta be better throughout my my minutes, uh, you know, for us to win games. How impressive was that? Second unit talked a lot, especially just what they were able to do defensively and what that group can do as a group defensively because all the guys that got, they have the key card. Yeah, they were good. Um, you know, I thought that though that that's a group that's played together pretty consistently. Um, you know, with Andrew, Aaron, uh, Jalen's been playing really well through these first couple games, and Buddy is Buddy and. Um, you know, I thought TJ came in, you know, he does what he, he did what he does and right. brought energy to the game and kind of picked the pace up. So um, they were really good for us. They really saved the game. Um, but as a first unit, we got to gotta figure something out because this can't become a – last year kind of felt like it was consistent, that the first unit was kind of starting slow and uh, slow starts we can't really continue to do. What's the impression about Aaron in particular, about what he's added to his offensive game? Um, 
Just, man, the thing about Aaron is I really just think he's a very comfortable within his skin, really knows who he is as a basketball player. Mm. And he doesn't try to do too much. He maximizes what he does well. Mm. Um, shoot open shots, you know, get to the rim, shot fake. Mm. Yeah, he's just very deliberate with his, uh, mm. with his attack, and I think that helps him a lot.